What's going on YouTube? So, as I promised, I have the final product in, product in here. So I refinished, reconditioned the inside of the housings. So now, let's take a look how it look. This is how it was. Well, similar, not that uh, exactly is what I want. Some of them had a little more crumb flaking. So you guys can see this one here. So this is another one. This one is not ready yet. So this one right here is ready. So this is one of the final. I'm halfway done. I don't think I'm gonna have to clean it outside. Maybe paint it. The other one all the way around. I don't know. Let me know guys, what do you guys think? All these markings right here, that was where the crown flaking was. Well, now it's flush. Now it's everything even. Even though if you guys say anything to anyone, one of those high-end rotary shops, you're always going to see the crown flaking. Well, everything's going to be flush. Everything's going to be even. So you can look it up. You can try. At least it's almost like... It's close as the ones if I had sent it to Mazda Trees, Guppy Performance. It's not 100% like them, but I'm confident saying, comparing next to each other, like, I'm like 80 to 85% close to them. I'm not saying I'm an expert, no. Uh, I'm proud to say that I did it uh, in-house, so I don't have to send them over. I don't have to send that out anymore. So yeah, let me know what do you guys think. Is the difference between this one and that one over there? There will be some happy Apex seals in here. And then this one right here, this is the final product. This is how it looks. Again, everything nice and even. There was more crumb flaking in here, but everything's flush. See the light on the camera, but everything is there. That's how it looks. This is the final. This is the final product. The one we can check with the straight edge. I don't know how I can do this. Yeah, on the camera and the angle, there's no way I can get it close, but let's see. You guys get the idea. So yeah, that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe. All those that think that uh, it's not gonna work or anything. High-end rotary shops, they've been doing this for years. Their engines are been holding. The quality on the Apex Hill has a lot to do too. So I recommend, this is not sponsoring anything. I don't get paid by these guys, but the only Apex Hill I recommend, if you're gonna go boost, or you're gonna go for high power, goopy performance, because those Apex seals they last. Uh, and those Puerto Ricans, those Boricuas, they know how to do their shit. So, yeah, that's about it. That's how it looks. If you're one of those internet geeks, they think they know everything. And uh, they're going to roast me, they're going to talk shit. Go for it. It's everything welcome here. Thank you for watching, for your comments. And yeah, stay tuned.
because the next one we're gonna mill this one maybe for uh, even 12 millimeters or maybe keep it at 10 or maybe why not go to 11 and a half or 11 millimeters so I can go ahead and do the studs so that's the next step on them so I'm gonna try to do everything in house not more sending it out so I have the tools I have the the way and then fuck it all right thanks for watching